Welcome to another Prospector video segment. Here we are at the Chili Cook-Off. The... Okay, how long? It's annual? I believe. Welcome to another Prospector video segment. I'm your video correspondent, David Duplantier, here at the college's annual Chili Cook-Off, where some of the culinary experts here at the college embark on a journey to create the ultimate chili. Now, let's go meet some of the contestants. All right, here we are with... Uh, would you be so kind as to introduce yourselves? I'm Teresa Aronson, Public Events, Public Information. Uh -huh. And uh, ma'am, you are? Tana Thomas. And uh, what sort of chili do you have for us today? We have a... Uh, it's a meat chili that has kind of a uh, southwestern feel to it. It's a little bit of spice, but it's very good. And it was made by the vice president, uh -huh. uh, Kevin Tretna, Dr. Kevin Tretna. Ah. Yes. As you can see, it's a presidential theme. Uh -huh. yeah. So we, we encourage you to try some of the chili. And then to vote, of course, for us that has the best showmanship. Uh -huh. right. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, any secret ingredients in here? Uh, none that I could divulge to uh -huh. the public, I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, and best of luck to you in the competition. Thank you. All right. And if we could get our official taste tester, huh? I am the official well, taste tester. Yes. If we could if this is our this is our resident culinary expert Richard Short, also a member of the Prospector staff, and he is going to be giving us his official culinary expertise on this particular chili. Ready for this? Oh yes. We are. I'm gonna need a moment outside alone. <laughs> Very good. Quite a quite a bit of meat in here. More beans than I would have liked, but hey, who am I to say? Back to you. All right, and here we are at our next contestant with a very ominous sign, Chili 911. I wonder if their chili lives up to the name. Hi, we're with the prospector. We're doing we're doing a feature on the chili competition, and I was wondering, uh, is this your chili? No, Chief made the chili. Ah. Yes, he did. So he's not here today. Uh huh. Now, do you know what's in the chili? Not a clue. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I noticed that it says chili nine one one. Uh, is this a special firehouse chili, extra spicy? Would you like to try some and let me know? Actually, let's see. Where did our we had a resident expert on chili. Ah, Richard. We have another chili for you to test. Yeah. 911 chili. 911 chili. Yes. Ah. <laughs> no spoon for you? No spoon needed. No spoon needed. Wait. <laughs> I think I might go outside again. Very spicy. Very spicy. Thank you. Very good. Very ah. good. Yes. Thumbs up. An excellent chili with our resident expert. Thank you very much and best of luck to you in the competition. Thank you. <laughs> I'm to ask who you are. Judy Dent. I'm the program manager for WIA here on the campus. And uh, this is your chili? Yes, it is. Oh. Uh, what type of chili is it? Good old-fashioned chili, hearty chili. Ah, yeah. So, um, yeah, certainly looks uh, hearty. We were voted number one last year we won. Ah, very nice. And I see you have a tropical theme here? Survivor theme. Ah, very nice. Yeah. Now, uh, we can get our... Ah, this is our, this is our resident chili expert, culinary student. If you would be so kind as to, uh... <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I wasn't on camera, and it would not have been fair to you to hear my All opinion. Right. Let's see what our expert has to say. The secrets are there. The expert has to taste first. <laughs> There's a lot of meat in this. I like the meat. I'm a meat and potatoes kind of guy. Not a lot of beans, not a lot of beans, that's good. 
Okay, you, you get my approval. You can sleep easy tonight. <laughs> All right. It seems like it's a hit with our uh, residential chili expert. Thank you very much for your time, and the best of luck to you in the competition. Uh, might I ask who you are and what you're representing? Uh, Jimmy Ford, uh, Rebecca, this is Michelle. We're with the Culinary Arts. All right, very nice. And uh, what sort of chili do you have for us today? We've got a green chicken chili. Ah. Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> uh, here. Green chicken. Green All chicken right. chili. Here. Well, this, somebody try it's not right naturally here. green, is it, Jimmy? You wouldn't do uh, that to me, no. would you? <laughs> Yes. Right. On to our on to our residential culinary expert. I would not call me an expert, but you know. Made by the students. <laughs> the students are in the chili, are they? <laughs> Soylent chili. Their blood, sweat, and tears went into this. I can tell. What do you think? Can I just take some of this to go? <laughs> Damn, that's, we got, good. Well, we got that's good. That's good. We'll edit that out later. That's good. Uh, All right. I'll be back when you're not looking at it. <laughs> yeah, it definitely seems popular with our expert. Yeah, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very and much. And I hope, uh, hope for you to have the best of luck in the competition. Thank you. Your name? I'm Jennifer. Hi. And uh, what sort of chili do you have today? This is just regular traditional chili, nothing too fancy. I like to keep things simple. I made it myself a couple days ago. It's fabulous and it smells so good. I can smell it from here. And over here we have some vegetarian chili for people who don't like to eat meat. Uh -huh. So we're trying to appeal to all the different crowds. Very nice. Yeah. You want to yeah. try some? Um, actually, this, is our, job, this apparently. is our residential culinary expert. He is giving us the opinion on all the chilies of the day. Not only do we have chili, but we have cheese and we have onions and we have cornbread. Ah, cornbread? Now, cornbread. Now that is what I call comprehensive. That is what I call, I am going home and changing my drawers. No. Are you ready for some chili? I am. I am. All right. We have a cup here. All right. And we're representing the Earth Explorers Club. Oh, very oh, good. Very we, good. We, we go look for rocks and do camping trips, and we do um, eco-friendly projects around the school for recycling and stuff like that. Very nice. Very you get a nice. shot of that? Very nice. Get a shot of that wonderful chili yeah. there. <laughs> or the sign also. Cornbread and your chili? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> and the spoons are in the sack. <laughs> Thank you. A lovely bag for spoons. All right. All right. So All I'll, right. Get, I'll get past the cornbread here. Get a piece of the cornbread first. Like some chili? Okay. Mm. The cups are right there. Is it good? That's some good cornbread. Okay, now i got to get past here to the chili. <laughs> Should have thought this out. <laughs> <laughs> Must strategize, Richard. Yes, later, later. Cornbread? Mm, that's good. Mm. Very tomato-y. Very, very good. Mm. Definitely vegetable-based. Mm -hmm. Well, between them and flavors, I'm not sure, but I'd say it's a close race. Ah. All right. Definitely seems to be enjoyed by our residential chili expert. Uh, Who do we think had the best chili? Well... Uh, you're the resident culinary expert. All right. You know, personally, I think it was flavors, although it was kind of unclear whether or not they were actually in the judging because they are studying to be professionals. <laughs> but anyway, I would have to say that, uh, well, considering that I had almost no chili whatsoever except the vegetarian and the green chicken from flavors, uh, the green chicken was all right. However, the traditional chili from eco people, adventure, nature, explore people, whatever, smelled really good. So I think I'm going to go with them. So of the people that of the amateurs that were actually making chili, I would I would have to give it to the eco people with their traditional chili. The vegetarian chili was good, but it's, you know, it had no meat in it. It wasn't mm -hmm. a chili for me. Mm -hmm. So it would have to be the traditional chili, mm -hmm. honestly. They had, I think, the best of them all. All right. And whose chili, among all of us, do you think that you would be willing to eat until you were literally on <laughs> fire? <laughs> Flavors. Flavors. Yeah. I concur. <laughs>
Take it next to you, Take it next to you, Take it next to you, Yeah, here we go. <laughs>